the worldwide campaign, to vaccinate every man woman and child, is headed straight for your dinner plate. A team of scientists from the University of California Riverside, are researching ways to turn your groceries into mRNA vaccines. These researchers seek to spread coronavirus spike proteins throughout the food chain to overcome the world population's vaccine reluctance. This experiment could lead to a new vaccine paradigm in which Big Pharma has complete control over the food supply. Could this be why Bill Gates, a major investor in both genetically modified crops and in vaccines, is buying up farmland across the United States? During the COVID-19 pandemic and under the media's radar, Bill Gates became the owner of the majority of farmland in the United States. Will the food supply be used to test vaccines? Using a grant from the National Science Foundation, experiments on lettuce and spinach plants have already begun, with the intention to develop a new species of greens that can vaccinate people more often and in a less invasive manner. The researchers at University of California are devising a method to determine the correct spike protein dose, per plant. While demonstrating that the plant can copy enough mRNA to outperform our present vaccine supply. The project involves splicing mRNA gene modifiers into lettuce leaves, which upon consumption deliver those chemicals to human cells much like an injection. Dr. Juan Pablo Giraldo, lead researcher and associate professor in UCR's Department of Botany and Plant Sciences says, We are testing this approach with spinach and lettuce and have long-term goals of people growing it in their own gardens. Ideally, a single plant would produce enough mRNA to vaccinate a single person. Farmers could also eventually grow entire fields of it. In a plant's cells, the sun's energy is converted into sugar, via chloroplast. Scientists want to interfere with this natural process, and instruct the plant cells to also generate spike proteins, and other foreign molecules, so that they can be introduced as vaccines into humans through the food supply. A new paradigm of food-based vaccines. At University of California San Diego, Dr. Nicole Steinmetz, has already developed nanotechnologies that can deliver genetic material to the chloroplast of plants. Steinmetz tinkers with plant virus nanoparticles and repurposes them to deliver foreign genes into the plant's cells. This is not the only edible vaccine experiment currently underway. Scientists from the University of Ottawa have been working on an edible vaccine for coronaviruses for over a year. The Ottawa hospital is already testing the first prototype. This edible vaccine expresses viral antigens, inside the lettuce and spinach plants. Their goal is to deliver the spike proteins to the human body, without altering the protein synthesis of human cells. If this research effort can demonstrate the delivery of spike proteins, throughout the food supply, the current vaccine supply could be scrapped, in favor of a new paradigm of food-based vaccination. They will get vaccinated without even knowing it. This experiment could forever alter the food supply, turning healthy, healing foods into bio-warfare playgrounds that globalists can use to exploit the human race. COVID vaccines in your food. You won't know you're eating medicine, or bioweapons. As required by government, the anti-vaxxers will never know what hit them. See the description of this video. Press the like button and subscribe.